Hi, Mike here. Last week, I was delivering Excel training to a large group, and I was showing how to create custom lists for sorting. I was doing this on a Windows machine, and somebody put into the chat in Zoom that they were using a Mac and couldn't find the option that I was talking about. So, after I'd shown them, and after the training, I thought, that's probably a good topic for a quick video. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Before I dive into creating a custom list, let's just review sorting. If I want to sort this list into date order, that's simple. Right click in any cell in column A within the data, select sort, and you can choose to sort by oldest to newest or newest to oldest. Or if I want to sort by flavour alphabetically, right click in one cell in column B, select sort, and because it knows the data is text, you can sort A to Z or Z to A. But what if I want to sort this list by location, but in a specific order? I don't want it alphabetical. Suppose I want Los Angeles and Seattle, the West Coast stores first, followed by New York, Boston, and Delaware, the stores located on the East Coast. To do that, I would need to create a custom list. In Excel on Windows, you can do that from inside the Custom Sort dialog box by clicking on the drop-down in the Order field and selecting Custom List and then selecting New List. Unfortunately, you can't do it this way on the Mac. I can right-click in a cell and select Sort and then go to Custom Sort. I can even click on the drop-down in the Order column and go to Custom List. But what I don't have is an option to create a new list. So this is what I'm going to do on the Mac. I'm going to click on the Excel option on the menu bar right at the top and go to Preferences. And then click on Custom Lists and you now have an option to create a new custom list. But rather than typing the items from a list, I'm going to load them in from a range of cells. So I'll just close this dialog box down. I'll start by selecting all of the items in column C and just copying them somewhere else, just to a, a blank column. That'll do, column G. Then I'm going to manually remove the duplicates, data, remove duplicates, and click OK and I now have a list of the locations. If you've got 365, you can, of course, use the unique function to generate that list. I'll then manually sort the list. So I want Los Angeles, and then I want Seattle. And you can see I'm putting these in column H. It doesn't matter where they go, because they're going to be deleted from the spreadsheet eventually. I'll then have New York, and Boston, and Delaware. I'll then go back up to Excel, Preferences, Custom Lists. Click into the Import List from Cells box, select the five items in the spreadsheet and click Import. And that has created my new list. I can then close down the dialog box, the Custom Lists dialog box, and delete the location names from the spreadsheet. So now to test it out, I will right click in one cell in column C, select sort, select custom sort. I want to sort by location and I want to sort by a custom list. And there is the custom list that I've just created and click OK. And OK again. So now we have our data sorted by store location, but not alphabetically, based on the order of the items in the custom list. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.